Hey, this is Eddie Hale, and I want to show you how to make a vertically tiling background for your web page. I've got this student in class named Ken Hay, the amazing Ken Hay, and uh, he's got this vision for a page that has kind of teal in a column over here and wood grain in a column over here. But on long pages, you can see his background tiles right here. So we have to figure out a way to make that seem invisible. I'm going to go into Photoshop. The problem is the top edge of the wood grain, when it you know butts up against the bottom edge, well, they're not the same. What if, what if, this is kind of bizarre and crazy, but what if uh, this is where it split? What if this right here were the top edge of my image and this up here were the bottom edge? Well, we can make that happen because then they will tile right. I will take this uh, selection marquee and I'm going to copy up here. Command C and then Command V, paste it in there, grab my layers palette here so you can see there's my new layer. I'm going to switch to my move tool and drag that straight down. I could hold the shift key to make sure it goes straight down and then it kind of snaps in place on the bottom. So now that would tile, nope there's another step. Now I crop it. So that will be the top edge of the photo now. Yes. I'm going to hit return to crop that. This is the top edge of the photo now. This is the bottom, and the bottom here will line up with it. I sacrifice a little bit of height, but it will tile seamlessly now, except who's noticing this? Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I still have a, a spot here where you can see that the image doesn't match up. That's the top of this layer here. I can um, I can give that a fuzzy edge with the eraser tool. I'm going to use my eraser. I'm going to make sure that I have a uh, real soft edged brush on it. I'm going to make it smaller using some fancy keystrokes. Anything you do to get your eraser smaller. And then I'm going to just erase this top edge, at least the hard edge on that top edge. And now those two blend together smoothly. There's no longer a hard edge there. And if I save this for web and devices, file save for web and devices, um, I don't have to think much about it. I don't fit into the interface here. I'm going to save that as a JPEG. It's going into my images folder and my root folder. Let's call it a wood, ba wood background one JPEG. I'm going to switch to Dreamweaver now and insert that into this into this uh, div over here. In my CSS styles, column one, I'm going to um, edit that, find that background tile. Wood background one, I called it, choose. OK. And now it's in there and it tiles seamlessly. If you're picky though, you're gonna notice that this grain comes down here, and then all of a sudden it jumps over to the right here. Um, I think you could live with that, or if you wanna get really fancy in Photoshop, we can do this crazy thing where um, I'm going to duplicate the background. I always like to make a backup, and I'm going to uh, distort that so that that grain lines up down there. It's kind of crazy, but you, uh, you make a selection, so I'm selecting this background copy layer. I'm going to feather the edge of that selection. Select, refine edge, um, feather. OK, so now I have a feathered selection. Now I'm going to do this thing I just learned how to do called puppet warp. I'm going to nail down a couple spots here. I'm following that grain right there. The green that I see is sort of the problem. And then I'm going to sort of uh, drive some tax in down here also. And then I'm going to move these spots. I'm going to pull this over here. I'm going to undo that. I'm going to nail it down on this side too. I don't want it, I don't want that spot shifting. But I'm going to grab this and pull it over here until I can see that the the grain is lining up down here now. I might even stick a tack in there and pull this out too. Just a little bit. So it kind of smoothly comes over and lines up with the grain down there. Same thing. Oh, it's hard to see behind that mesh, but I'm going to drag this over to the right a little bit. 
because I know it needs that. I'm going to drag this end over to the right a little bit. I'm going to try that. I'm going to hit return. Close. I got it close. I can play with it a lot more and get it even closer. But I'm, I'm going to save this for web and devices also. Save. I'll call that wood background two. Save. Switch to Dreamweaver again and um, edit that column one one more time to choose the background two. And I think that's pretty good. I'm scrolling down here. It's pretty hard to tell where that thing tiles. Once you put some content over there, I think it'll be impossible to tell where it tiles. And then um, also remember that you could, I could go in there and tweak it and tweak it and tweak it to get rid of these little notches in the grain um, if I had the time. But hey, this is a video and you want to be done. So try that on your own and I hope it works for you. Thanks. Bye.